Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with a new episode of our safari boat ride. And in this episode, we're going to build a dwarf caiman habitat with an underwater tunnel for the boat ride. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our very first fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description down below, you will get an amazing discount and you will also be supporting the channel. And to celebrate this awesome collaboration, we are doing a special giveaway where you you can win a game of your choice so just click the link in the description of this video enter the game or dlc you would like to win and participate good luck so this habitat is located right after the sun bear habitat i wanted to do something with an underwater tunnel because it just looked really cool and we already uh made uh, some kind of tunnel well we did made a tunnel for the hippo habitat but some kind of tunnel for the giant otter habitat but that was more like one side was water and one side was like more of a dry tunnel no not a cave area <laughs> oh my gosh that's so vague hopefully it makes sense uh, throughout this whole video. So yeah, we're going to build an underwater tunnel again for this new habitat. Um, and I actually thought like, oh yeah, I have experience now with those tunnels. So obviously it's going to be a lot easier to do that, even though it's a, it's a while ago since we built the last one. But I really was confident like this is going to be easy. I'm going to do that. But oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> it was still a pain in the butt to be completely honest. And I had to redo it uh, very often off camera. Uh, and at some point I just rage quit the game because it just didn't go how I wanted to go. And it was so frustrating. Now the hardest thing was to make sure that the tunnel was not filled with water, but the water would still slightly be above the boat. So somewhere at least in that region. Uh, so having the whole tunnel with water just looks super odd to me. And for some reason I constantly had like a lot of water inside of the tunnel so whatever i did like there was water everywhere and it just didn't feel right so i had to do it over and over again and sometimes it was too high so that it was too low and it's quite quite challenging and i didn't really figure out like what the right height measurement for the water is and what the high, right height measurements is for the 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 path to remove the terrain so yeah, it was really a struggle and I at some point almost regret that I started doing this, but I was like, no, I want this underwater tunnel to work for the Cayman. This is actually the first Cayman habitat that we're going to build. Uh, I don't think we, no, we did not make any other habitat. So yeah, it was finally time to add the dwarf Cayman into one of our zoos, I guess. So after a few tries, I finally was able to get the right water height for the tunnel and then I started testing the dwarf caimans but that also was an issue because they were not able to dive with the height of the water and definitely because you have like the tunnel and the height of the tunnel it was causing so many issues so I had to raise the terrain uh, around the habitat to make sure that the water was going higher and and then try it again and again and again to make sure that finally the caimans were able to dive and that also made me realize that I really had to pay close attention to where I put anything down because it is just such a struggle to uh, get everything right and to make sure that your caimans are able to dive like, especially if you're not one to make like super big habitats then you're definitely obligated to to pay attention to that unfortunately so yeah you can imagine that my struggles were real and you can also probably imagine that after so many tries and so many times i had to redo it over and over again that i was just at some point rage quitting the game and the next day i picked it up again and i was able to to manage and to fix everything and we were finally able to decorate the habitat itself but yeah, it really made me realize that the plans that I had, that I really had to change that. I, I really wanted to create some kind of mini aquarium idea for the dwarf caiman. But yeah, if if there are so many issues with their diving animations and, and what you, you add, like if it's a little bit too high, they're already not able to dive anymore. So 
I really had to pay attention to that. So yeah, the, the habitat is way less decorated than I wanted it to be, unfortunately. But that is also just because I really didn't want to make like a humongous habitat because the dwarf caiman is just a very small little dwarf caiman. So it doesn't really make any sense to me, to be completely honest, to make like this huge habitat like we did for the hippo, for example. Like hippos need that space. They need that gigantic space in their habitat but yeah for the giraffe came in it just didn't make any sense to me to be completely honest so if you're wondering by the way the tunnel that you're seeing i did copy that one from the hippo habitat i'm like that person being like hey if i already created something like that that is just super easy to use i'm going to use it again so i did that as well in this case and i just copied that tunnel from the hippo habitat so uh, it was the right height already and it worked so why not do that right so to decorate the habitat i used these arctic pieces that actually look a little bit like a shipwreck and i really love those pieces and i actually wonder why i never really used them i started seeing them in the willow creek zoo tour that we did with the community zoo with a squirrel monkey or habitat and um, I realized these pieces are just so cool and I really wonder why I never used them. And I think this was definitely the right spot to start using them if I wanted to do something with an aquarium, even though it's way less decorated than I wanted it to be. But it is what it is, I guess. But I do think they really work well for this habitat and they look just absolutely fantastic, to be completely honest. It's, it's kind of a pity that we still don't have like a traversable area uh, map or heat map that you can see how deep they are able to, to dive. I hope that is something that Frontier is working on for the future. That will be really great once we someday get an aquarium pack. Maybe not, but <laughs> I really don't know anymore if that is going to be a thing. But I le at least I do hope that if we ever see an aquarium DLC, that we are getting another heat map with the diving. I mean, these, these were the first steps, right? We have the aquatic pack and we got diving animations and that was all super new. And uh, recently we also got like this uh, traversable area heat map for the staff. So I can totally see something like that in the future that we can see another heat map for like the diving traversable area. That will be really great. I have no idea how they would be able to pull that off though, but... <laughs> That is definitely a thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I still have hopes. I still have some kind of hopes for the aquarium DLC, but I don't know if it, huh? <laughs> I just hope they're going to be bigger packs, but I keep saying that now for a year. And uh, I think it's time to just um, try and accept that the packs will not be as big as long as, depending of course, like the Asia pack was bigger with the amount of animals, but we didn't have any pieces. Now the rumors are that we're going to see an, um, a normal pack again with like pieces and probably four or five animals. I really do hope that <laughs> for some reason there are going to be more animals still. But yeah, I think, I think it's really uh, fair enough to say that it's probably not going to happen. But anyways, back to the build. Uh, so yeah, we have to make sure that the animals are able to dive. So yeah, I couldn't really do too many crazy things. But still, I do really like the habitat. It's still as small as I wanted it to be. Like, I don't want it to be super wide, super big, because that just doesn't make any sense for me for the dwarf caiman. Uh, but yeah, I, I do think that these arctic pieces really work well for a little bit of decoration in the habitat instead of like using only rocks inside of the habitat and together of course with like the the decorating the habitat with these uh, temple plants or whatever they are called and as water aquatic plants i think uh, definitely with the contrast with the brown colors of the rocks and the shipwreck pieces i think that works just super well for a little bit more color variation in it and uh, and yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, how the habitat has turned out even though i had to change a lot of my plans still we now have another underwater tunnel so who is not happy with that <laughs> now the question is going to be what is going to be the next episode of this series i think if i am able to to calculate <laughs> I think we only have three more animals left before this one is finished. Maybe four, maybe I can squeeze in like a smaller one or anything like that. But I do want to know what kind of animals shall we add next into this safari boat ride series? Like there is not that much space left. 
so we need to choose it wisely like if you go to the playlist in the link in the description you can see in the titles what kind of animals we already have if you have no idea anymore what kind of animals we already added so you can check right over there but i do really would love to know from you guys like what should be the next animal like normally I would ask that in my Twitch streams, but I stopped streaming for a while, at least for the time being. So I'm not able to ask. So I'm probably going to finish this series before I maybe go back into streaming again. I'm not entirely sure yet about that. Uh, but yeah, so I do need some suggestions of what kind of animals we should add next. And if you guys have any cool ideas of how we could implement those, definitely also let me know in the comments down below, of course. And for those that are wondering, I keep asking why I am uh, not using any mods and when I will start using any mods, because at this point, I'm probably the only YouTuber that has not used any mods at this point. And there's a reason for that. And that is not because I didn't want to, but the reason for that is because I had like this test file and I, I downloaded like, say, 15 to 20 mods. And I just wanted to check out the mods to see if I like them, if I wanted to use any of those, etc. And how they would work, etc. And uh, it's right after I had like this test too, I started to have some issues with my city zoo. So I wasn't quite sure if that was because of the mods that I installed, even though that was like in a different file. Uh, you still add like the mods in your folders, right? So I wasn't quite sure. So I deleted all the mods, I reinstalled my planet zoo and still had these issues in city zoo. So at that point, I uh, sent my file over to Frontier, but they couldn't really uh, figure out what it was. They, they, I also had some crashes and they were working on a fix for that. And at some point I realized that when I removed the, the greenhouse glassy roof that I was working on, when I removed that one, the, the, the constant freezing issues that I had were gone. So I was really happy with that. And at some point I was just working so much on that greenhouse that I actually didn't really think of the mods anymore. But later on, I wanted to check uh, the mods again and to see if I was able to, to start using any of those mods. So I actually was curious to see if that file would still be working if I removed those mods, right? I mean, that is definitely something you want to know. <laughs> so I tested that and I started having crashes and I started having three crashes in a row. So I was quite certain that, hmm, that just didn't really work how it should be. So after that, I put back all the mods that I installed earlier and I still kept having crashes, but then it was a little bit later. So when I went into the training center, and uh, uh, tried to, I think it was adopting animals. Adopting animals worked, but once I would go to the training center itself to move the animals, instant crash. And I kept, it kept crashing for a few times again in a row. And I was just not able to do anything. Um, so yeah, that is the reason because it just imagine this was my city zoo, guys, uh, or this was my safari boat ride. This would be a zoo that you would be working on for months or years and you would get issues with that. No, I'm just not going to take that risk. I really, really would love to start using mods, but not if there is a risk that I'm going to lose my city zoo file because of it or, or any other zoo file. I'm, I just not, I don't want to. So yeah, I really hope you guys understand, like Frontier does not endorse modding, they do not support modding. So yeah, if, if we have any issues with your files, because you start using mods, you probably have an issue because Frontier will not help you most likely. So it's a very big risk and it's not a risk I'm willing to take, at least not for my Safari Boat Ride or for my City Zoo file. And I really do hope you guys understand. But at this point, like maybe I will start like a new file with only some modded animals, like just a small little zoo or anything like that. I'm not entirely sure about that yet. I'm uh, also having a lot of fun still with City Zoo and my Safari Boat Ride. So yeah, we just see how it will go. <laughs> but I do really hope that you guys understand that it's a really big risk that I would take if I would start using mods now uh, with all these crashing issues. So yeah, no mods in the current zoos that we're working on. Also not in Ponta Zoo, even though I would love to add some animals in there as well from the mods. But at this point, it's just way too much risk, unfortunately. 
But yeah, do let me know, of course, what you guys think of this dwarf caiman habitat in our safari boat ride. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to check out the giveaway that we are doing with Instant Gaming. The link is in the description down below. And you can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And all those links are also in the description down below, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.